Hitbot 6 Axis Collaborative Robot Arm Unboxing. A product information sheet is included in the box, covering product information and machine code. There is a 6 axis collaborative robot arm. A power cord for connecting to the robot. A 6 axis collaborative robot arm control box with power and data connection ports on the back. A power cord of control box. A control button box and its power cord. And for M630 socket head cap screw. Take out the control box. The back side is mainly the wiring and switching area. Connect the robotic arm power cord to the control box. Once connected, turn the connector counterclockwise and tighten the connector. Next, connect the button box to the control box. When connecting, press the power connector as shown in the video. Then take out the power cord of control box and connect it to the corresponding port. Finally, connect the 220 volts power socket. Turn on the power switch. Indicator lights alternately flash, indicating that the device is being initialized. When the indicators turn to green and the flash is stopped, it indicates the robot has been successfully initialized. Introduction to control button box. The top button is for switching mode. Press it. The green light turns to blue. The robot is switched to automatic mode. Press the button at the bottom. The robot arm will run automatically according to the set program. Press the bottom button again. The robotic arm stops running. Steps of handheld teaching manual. Press the top button. The blue light turns to green. The robot is switched to manual mode. Press and hold the terminal drag and teach button to move the machine to the designated area. Press the middle button. The robot records the teaching point. Repeat the above three steps until all points have reached the designated point. After the operation is completed, press the top button to switch to automatic mode. Then press the bottom button to start the program. Steps of software operation. Prepare USB-C data cable. Plug with the laptop. And connect the other end to the button box. For handheld teaching, press and hold the drag and teach button. Then indicators change from green to cyan. Keep pressing and holding the button to freely adjust the robot as required. Operation instruction of the software. Open the software. Name the teaching point. When teaching, the software will synchronize the motion of the robotic arm. After drag and teach, click the add button. Repeat teaching and adding teaching points until all points have been set. Click while to add a loop module. Enter the number of cycles. Click add and apply in turn. Click PTP to add a point module. Select the recorded points in turn and click add. After all points have been added, click apply. Click to switch mode as shown in the video. Switch to automatic mode. Click the start button as shown in the video. Then click to run. Function of moving. Click plus or minus in the first line to move axis 1. Click plus or minus in the second line to move axis 2. Click plus or minus in the third line to move axis 3. Click plus or minus in the fourth line to move axis 4. Click plus or minus in the fifth line to move axis 5. Click plus or minus in the sixth line to move axis 6.
Demonstration of handheld teaching. Click plus or minus to move the robotic arm. Move the robot to the specified location. Enter point name at point. Click PDP to add a point module. Enter the number of cycles. Click add and apply in turn. Click PDP to add a point module. Select the recorded points in turn and click add. After all points have been added, click apply. Click to switch mode as shown in the video. Switch to automatic mode. Click the start button as shown in the video. Then click to run. The robot arm will run according to the set points. Demonstration of collision emergency stop. Click software collision level. Select the desired collision level. Click apply. Run the robot. When the device senses relative resistance, it will automatically stop running.